Hey guys, and welcome back. So, today, as you can tell, I'm going to be doing my hair, and you guys are going to be coming along with me throughout the journey. So, I believe the last time you guys saw me, I ended up using a toner on my hair, and it turned out okay, but the issue was there were, like, some splotchy bits over here. You could probably still see a couple of weird blonde pieces closer to the roots. Essentially, after that, I tried to tone my hair using the Arctic Fox um, Transylvania with a, a bunch of conditioner and then a pastel purple conditioner. I tried to blend it real well, but I left it on my hair, I guess, for too long. I left it on for a half an hour. I tried to film the video for you guys. It didn't work out because all my footage was deleted, but essentially, it left my hair. You can't really see it too, too well in this light. But part of my hair is, like, green. You can kind of see it at the front. It's turned because I've let my hair sit like this for about a week, week and a half now. I guess because of the underlying color that was on my hair beforehand, it was like a yellowish. It kind of mixed with the blue, and that's why I have green. But essentially, I'm going to be stripping this color out. I've come to love this product, although it doesn't make my hair feel necessarily the greatest. It also doesn't make it feel the worst after I use it. Um, this is what I used the last time. It is the L'Oreal FXOR Color Remover. So, <clears throat> I'm going to use this again. Mixing 20 and 30 volume conditioner. So, just like this. And I'm going to leave it on my hair until I feel like my hair is light enough. Like a decent shade for me up to half an hour, just about. Also, by the way, I forgot to mention that I gave my hair a little snip snip because it was down to here. But it was stringy down here and I just, I didn't like it. My hair feels soft though. I've been using a couple of products I'm going to talk about later. Um, after I've used them more than a couple of times. After that though... If I need to, I have this Ion Permanent Cream Color. It is in Light Cool Blonde 8V. I'm going to be mixing this probably with the, I want to say the 20 and the 30 mixed together to make about 25, but it has crystallized micropigments, argan, and pequi oil. I believe that's how you pronounce that. And it is Ionic Wheat protein as well so i got this from sally's of course that's my regular beauty supply store and if i feel the need to tone it instead of using blue this time um and instead of having to go back and use more toner more permanent color i'm only going to use that 8v if i have to we'll see what my hair looks like but if i have to tone it i have these semi-permanent hair colors also from Ion, from their Brights line, it is, the colors are in violet gray and titanium. If I need to, I'll use these, but because this dye is so thick, I'll probably mix it with conditioner if necessary. Anyhow, let me get to it. I'm going to go strip my hair. I'll show you the results of that. After that, we'll see. I will let you know if I need to use that, and if I do need to use the permanent color, I'll come back and show you that, and then course show you if I need to tone it. Otherwise everything else besides the color stripper will be mainly for um maintenance. Also because I was bad because I was anxious I picked up another one of the Philida Colors blue bleach packets probably not going to use this hopefully I don't have to that's the point of me having the FX Horror Anyhow, I'm rambling. Let me get to it. I'll be back in a second for you guys. It'll probably be tomorrow for me, though. By the way, Baymax from Big Hero 6 is amazing. Just have to say that. I also have Stitch behind me. Been on my videos, my past couple of videos. See you guys in a sec. So, hey guys, I'm back. I changed my shirt, of course. I just wanted to give you a quick little overview of what I was talking about. Now you can start to see more of the blue and the green what it looks like from the back 
So I'm just gonna go and get right into it again. I will see you guys in a second. All right, so hey guys and welcome back. Uh, this is the results of the first time using the color stripper. As you can see, I still have some dark spots over here. Not many on this side. That's what the back of my head looks like. Mostly still dark spots at the top. So I'm going to use the uh, color remover one last time. I still have one more packet to go and I'm just gonna mix up the same way I did the last time, which is just with 20 volume developer and a hint of 30 to give it a little bit of a higher peroxide. Um, I only left the color stripper in my hair, I want to say about 20 minutes. So I'm going to say it did a pretty substantial job. My hair is still intact. I'm just going to use the color remover essentially to hit the dark spots. I understand I still have a bit of pink all over the underneath my hair, so I'm probably going to leave the color remover on the dark bits for about 5 minutes. I'm going to separate and section my hair. It's only the top parts of my hair, because as you can see underneath, <coughs> like, this is all perfect. So I'm going to go do that. I'll be right back. I'll show you what my hair looks like. I'm probably going to leave the color remover in my hair in total for about 10-ish minutes. So <coughs> I'll, I'll tell you everything after I'm finished. But it really lightened pretty well, I'm going to say, for 20 minutes. So, let me just get in and finish it up, and I'll be right back for you guys. So, welcome back. Again, this is the results of the second time of the color stripper. I have not done anything else to it. I'm thinking it's looking pretty blonde. Still a little bit wet in the back, but it's less than damp so i'm gonna work with it as you can see my hair looks dry as heck probably because it's naturally curly and the only moisturizers that i've really used were the bondi boost that's what i've been using bondi boost shampoo and conditioner as well as the keratin two minute reconstructor from effigy so really quick let me get into what i'm going to be using to tone my hair um, it's again this semi-permanent uh, ion brights in violet gray. That's what it looks like. And I'm also going to be mixing it with a little bit of this um, bright instant color pastel purple just to help tone down some more of the yellow because I do believe the violet gray will help but it helps to have like a little bit of an extra purple additive. And along with that because my hair feels dry as heck it's not really all that damaged, it is a little bit damaged, it's just more so dry. I'm going to be using this uh, Ion Absolute Perfection Booster Step 1 to be mixing in with the hair dye. So I'll be right back when I am finished. I'm obviously not going to film me dyeing my hair. If you guys are interested on how I do that, you guys can go back and check my other videos. But let's get into it. I'll be right back. Also, because the Ion uh, hair dye is a little bit thicker than my normal consistencies for semi-permanent hair dye, I'm going to be mixing it with this 3 Minute Miracle Moisture from Aussie. Just so you guys know. One more time, you guys. I also forgot that I got the Ion Brights in titanium as well, so I'm mixing about half a packet of this in with the hair dye as well gotta include everything you know all right guys so it's two days later now sorry for the uh late update but work you know so this is how my hair turned out i left the color on my hair for about an hour and a half i want to say and you can see like parts of it have turned out purple like closer to the roots some parts turned out like almost the white, which is kind of my goal. Some parts are still dark blonde. But honestly, all in all, I'm okay with looking like I got zebra stripes and whatnot. 
at least for the next little while because I am still trying to grow my hair out. I don't need to mess it up anymore, so I'm probably going to do that uh, semi-permanent hair color uh, re-dye in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm also going to be using my Bondi Boost shampoo and conditioner trying to grow out my hair while in the process of all of this. So I do not re regret my decision because as you saw at the start of this video, my hair was a complete mess. Now, it, even though it looks, you know, still like a complete mess of a bunch of different colors, um, I, in my opinion, it does look better and I am pretty happy with the results. Could be better, but it could also be worse. So I'm looking at it that way. I mean, my hair isn't fried, it is kind of dry, but I expect that after using a color remover like four or five times within the past two weeks, two to three weeks, something like that. So this is the end of the video. Like, subscribe, and comment if you wish to do so. Keep on rocking with whatever hair you have. And again, I, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this journey with me getting to this point. Um, and, uh, until next time, see you later. Bye, guys.